Hey folks, Rob with two guys on a ride. Boy, oh boy, I've got a beautiful vehicle for you today. But before we talk about the car, take just a minute, hit that subscribe button below, become a channel friend, and then hit that bell notification at the top so you never miss a video. And I'm glad you're here because you're not going to want to miss this video. Folks, today I'm with Steve and this is his 1950 Olds 88 Holiday Coupe. And he's going to tell us about him, his love for this car, and some unique things about this car. Steve, take it away. Thanks for coming to the Chanas and Autoplex once again, Rob. You bet. Glad to have you. Thank you. So this is, uh, as Rob said, a 1950 Oldsmobile Holiday 88 Coupe. It's 69 years old. I grew up, my family grew up uh, owning Oldsmobiles. I've always been an Oldsmobile nut. And uh, I have a 50s garage here at the Auto Motorplex and um, at the Autoplex and um, I wanted a 50s car. So last August, I found this car on Bring a Trailer, which is, I think, the premier auction website to pick up classic and collector and, and performance cars. And so I got it last August, so I haven't had it that long. Uh, been to a few shows with it. Uh, it's just, uh, I love red, that's my favorite color. So I called it the Red Rocket, the Oldsmobile Rocket. We'll talk about some of those features and uh, do a walk around here and um, and get you familiar with the car. But um, uh, it's it's a large car. Um, I'm not exactly sure of the total length, but uh, these 50s cars were built big. And this design came out in 1949, the Oldsmobile Holiday or 88 Holiday Coupe. And what makes it a Holiday Coupe is the open air here there's no post there is an Oldsmobile model with a post but there's no post here they actually called these hard top convertibles because when you're in there you've got maximum glass you've got the open air feeling of a convertible you've got the wrap around here the wrap around rear glass and minimal pillar here so you really get the airy sense of a convertible so that's why a lot of people call them hardtop convertibles mm -hmm. but the official name is holiday 88 coupe again there was a model with a post there was a model with a fastback um, so Oldsmobile like they they did all the GM divisions had different models there was a convertible in this as well so um, what makes this car pretty special starting in 1949 is the engine it's a rocket 303 engine and it was the first overhead valve v8 produced in the united states uh, before that you had a lot of straight eights you had sixes you know the gm stove bolt uh, six that they put in a lot of pickups the the buick fireball eight which was a straight eight but this was a v but with overhead valves and oldsmobile was the first they they built a, a engine plant just to make this engine after it came out in 1949-50, all the other manufacturers scrambled to put engines together similar to, to the Oldsmobile V. The other bit of history is that in 1949 and 50, those were the first two years of NASCAR. And this engine dominated NASCAR, won 50 to 60% of the races because of this engine, the Rocket 303. So they called it, they called this the, the Futuramic engine, and that's why you see Futuramic here. There's a lot of little Art Deco touches on this car. Futuramic refers to the engine uh, in the car. Um, of course, you've got the wide whites on this car, but a lot of little Art Deco touches. You see the, the ribs in the uh, trim rings uh, on the wheels. Um, you've got, on the door handles, you've got more Art Deco there. Um, if you look at the steering wheel and the interior, the Oldsmobile World, the planet logo was, was famous with the Saturn ring. And that steering wheel is pretty unusual because it's a, it's, it's a plastic, um, I forget what the name of that plastic was that they had back in the, um, the 50s. Um, but it's a pla and most of the ones you find are crazed or cracked. But that one's in really good condition. So there's that that Oldsmobile Planet logo. Um, 
so like a lucite or something? Yeah, or, it was. Uh, or, I forget uh, the name of it. Uh, there was. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, it's not plexi, but no, it's some. It's, yeah, it's, I know it's what it's you're talking like about. It's almost like a lucite. Yeah, right, right. What they call it today. Then, uh, of course, other styling touches the rocket on the hood, <laughs> which refers to the rocket under the hood. Right, right. The rocket. So when you're sitting behind the wheel and you see this rocket pointing, that tells you which <laughs> way to go. Again, the world logo here with also built very detailed. Um, well, and the Art Deco in the letters as well. Yes. They're not just chrome it, flat it, letters. They actually have detail. Exactly. Now, uh, going down the highway, um, imagine you're going to collect some bugs in that world. That must be a yeah, meticulous it, kind of it, it, trying it, to yeah, clean maybe that a out of there. Q-tip q or toothbrush <laughs> in there to get that out. One of the things with two, uh, eBay, you know, the internet is amazing. I found a set of 1950 Minnesota plates that were unused, still in the Minnesota paper sleeve. Oh, boy. And I snapped them up because you can register, if these numbers aren't taken, you can register these plates with the car when you get the title. Really? So these were unused plates and they're really attractive with the white and the black. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's what the plate scheme was, uh, color scheme was in 1950. So wow. it really worked with this car. Wow. So I registered the car with, with those plates. This, so, is a, this is a great shot. It shows all the beautiful lines on the car. And I was telling Steve earlier, folks, there is not an... Uh, Every angle of this car is complimentary. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's what, that's what struck me. I just, I, I like 50s cars. I was looking for an Olds and I said, wait a minute, I've got a 50s garage, 50s mobile station. Let's, let's buy this Oldsmobile. So here you've got the 88 on the fins. And this was the early, later on in the 50s were the big fins. So this oh, was, sure. these were the early fins in the early 50s. This is a 50 and instead of, it's yeah. probably easier because they, they use these pontoon fenders on mm -hmm. other body styles. So they just did the fin mm -hmm. out, of a, out of a chrome piece. Right. Which made it an easier add on or subtraction, I guess. Right. Now right. did all the, so uh, do you know if this fin was specific to an 88 or? Uh, I wonder, other Oldsmobiles had them, but okay. uh, they didn't always have the 88. But, right. Uh, in 49, 50. And at 50, starting like 51, 2, they kind of got variants of it. But I think these are the attractive fins with the chrome. Oh, I love them. And, and then uh, the taillights tail even lights have the ribs. Later there. on in the 50s, Oldsmobile went to the bullet tail lights that look like the, oh, sure. the, the bullet. Right. And so these were, these were, and then you've got the Rocket 88 here. Right. The only modification on this car that has been done is the dual exhaust. Okay. Uh, this car is no power steering no power brakes it's six volt so it yep. wasn't con a lot of guys convert their cars to 12 volt. right so you, you got to change all the bulbs yep and you, you still got all the generator and you not the alternator. generator not the alternate i'm leaving yep. it i want to keep this correct and again the exhaust was the only um right you know. now the trunk oh got boy. A lot of, good got, gracious look at it, that it's, room it's huge wow Robert De, Niro, oh. Robert De Niro would say, you could put six bodies in this truck. <laughs> there are six sets of golf clubs. Right. There's a lot of room. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of room oh, in that. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah. Um, Look at that. Now, do you know the color? The red, the name of the red? It's called Chariot Red. Chariot Red. Chariot Red. It's kind of a... I think it's fitting. <laughs> it's not fire engine. It's more of a kind of a... People tell me a cranberry... Okay. It's kind of yeah, a, yeah I see know, that. Yeah. Not quite a lipstick, but yeah, yeah it's, it's got a little bit engine, darker in it. Yeah, a little darker. Wow. Now are these vinyl or they were they the, original the, leather these seats? These are these are leather and cloth. Okay, look which, at that. Which was you know the, you you could get I think there was vinyl, but uh, when they restored this car in 1985, they they wanted to keep it correct. You know that's why they didn't change the uh, the six to twelve volt thing. Um, so the interior colors are all the same. So you would have that was it's like a gold color? Or gold, or? yeah, it's kind of a goldish. Yeah. yeah, this is kind of a gray green. I'm a little colorblind, but you notice the notice the cluster here. Everything is centrally located. Right. And then you've got you know your wiper and fan controls, lights, hood released. This um, parking brake is a parking okay. brake here. And notice there is no park. Right. Okay, so what you do on a hydromatic transmission, you can do it two ways. You can put it in neutral, put the parking brake on, or you can put the parking brake on and throw it in reverse, and the reverse locks down the transmission. How about that? So there is no P on there, and they didn't have the P for several years. Now, was the clock original too, though? The clock is original. <clears throat> the clock is the only thing that doesn't work on the car. That was my next question. I just had the fuel gauge repaired. The new sending unit did not work. 
the heater blower motor did not work. Those are now working. Okay. The clock, clocks never work on these. Things. Right, right. It's AM radio. Still AM work? radio works. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. <laughs> radio eight three zero WCCO. Okay, know? so for so. a lot of people who don't know, then, and I grew up with these. I'm old enough to know the little button on the floor. I've got my daughter here with me today. Yes. Anna, you want to take a look at this and give me an idea if you know what this little button on the floor is take for? Take a guess what that is. Right there, the little gold button down there. Take a look. Look inside. And any idea what that is? No. Okay. Is that to open the hood? No. no. <laughs> good guess. It's not a bad guess. <laughs> nope, nope. Good guess. Steve, tell us about that. That is the bright uh, switch for the lights. Oh. The high beams. <laughs> on the floor. On the floor. So you press, <laughs> you press that and the high beams go on. Or you press it again and the high beams go back to just, the regular. It was always just a simple click. Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. You move wow. your foot and so click now, it. So now it's all on the stock on, yep. the, on the cars. But... Uh, <laughs> but we'll open the hood. Okay, yeah, let's take a look at that rocket under the hood. The Rocket 303. Wow, look at that, folks. Oldsmobile rocket. Get a shot of that. Yeah, they, even, they even put it on the valve covers on the... Well, they were proud of this because yeah. they were the first. Yep, that was the first overhead valve V8. So, it's an oil bath air cleaner. Mm -hmm. Uh, generator, not an alternator, because of the six volt. Uh, here you see six a six volt battery. volt battery. Right. And look at the cloth wires. Wow. Cloth instead of plastic covered right. wires, cloth. Uh, when they redid Going into this your car, voltage there's, regulators and there's stuff. the windshield washer bottle over there. No air conditioning on this car. It does have heat. Um, big radiator. Right. Uh, but again, these cloth wires are, uh, I think, kind of fascinating to me. Um, yeah, that's and, really and cool. I didn't realize you would CO, still have the cloth. A different looking carburetor than you see nowadays. It now, is. Nowadays you see a carburetor with the air cleaner on top. This is the air cleaner um, behind it. Well, and this has an oil bath right. air filter as well, right. air cleaner right. as well. Right. And then here's the, uh, I guess, build plate, if I can that's, get that. That's the VIN plate. Yep. VIN plate, if I can get and that on there. And another, another thing there, too, where it says color, it says special. And the reason that is, is... 99% of these cars were your color choice and then either a white or black top because they wanted them to look like convertibles with a contrasting top. Oh, sure. But when this car was ordered, they special ordered it single color, top and body. Oh, I'm glad they did. <laughs> yeah, because I think, I to me, the black or white top kind of distracts and right. kind of breaks up the lines of the car. It does. And the, the single color, the chariot red, I think really makes it. So. But you know, I just noticed a style that, styling feature that they did on this to make it look even more like a convertible. They put this ridge, this chrome ridge here, yeah. to make it look like that is that, two that, separate. That the top would fold now, back. Right. Now, I know that is probably two, still two separate stampings, and that's where yeah. they welded it. But underneath there, you would think it would just unclamp, and then you could take right. the top off. So. Exactly. That, that's a good Point, yeah. Right, and then with this this V shape here, it looks like you're right. You can just fold the top right, right down, and yeah. oh, that's so, so really beautiful. They really wanted that design <laughs> take on that. Yeah. So, so I've got to ask. I always ask this of uh, all the owners and their cars. What is your favorite thing about this car? Uh, I think the favorite thing is the engine and okay. how revolutionary it was. It was the first of its kind. The V8 had dominated NASCAR. Yeah. Oldsmobile was the leader both in that engine and development of the hydromatic automatic transmission. Wow. So putting that two that, that package together, right. those two things, in a really attractive shell is what struck me. And the, the little things like the wide whites, right. you know, and you know, these are bias ply tires. That is the other thing I was going to mention. Okay. They didn't put radios on this. There's right. no, no, it's, no, it's not until the seventies. So. Six volt, no power steering, no there's no equipment on it. So you're pocket. driving it as she is original. I was gonna ask you, you've yeah. not even it's still drum brakes all drum the way brakes, around. yeah. There's so you I mean you've left it completely. So yeah. where a lot yeah. of people will take and they'll lightly resto mod where right. everything you can't see. They'll put see. disc in the front, they'll put a different a front end suspension in it. Right. Uh, they'll put radial tires and you right. can get radials that have wide white ones right. on Coker them. and some others yeah, will do diamond that. Diamond back, you know, you but can, you've got you can get those. You've got all period. So right. how uh, how far do you have you driven? What's the furthest you've driven this? I, well, I took it to back to the 50s two days to okay. St. Paul uh, okay. two weeks ago. Okay. And uh, that was uh, before that I had been to the Waconia for the Nickel Dickel Day shows. Right. But uh, two days in a row, uh, it's a, it's about 30 miles to the fairgrounds, I think, from Chanhassen roughly. So okay. it performed flawlessly. The one thing I might add is with these drum brakes and with no power brakes, 
you really have to anticipate mm -hmm. ahead of you right and you have to give a lot of stopping distance because it's a heavy car oh sure and with those old-fashioned brakes and yep. those bias ply tires oh yeah you know uh, <laughs> you, you gotta if you see something going on ahead of you anticipate it and, and press well, it. well it's kind of good it, it makes you way more alert as a yes. driver oh, not yeah. just because you want to preserve your pristine vehicle but because it actually does take right. more to start and stop and go and everything else on these cars but yeah you know this was yes almost 70 years ago this was cutting edge technology this was the in this, this car was, this was the car to this have. led the way yeah this was the car to have and, and it led the way like yeah. you said on the nascar tracks and it just it dominated for a few years until yeah. all the other manufacturers they even they caught up yeah. even in the gm hierarchy mm -hmm. they kind of made cadillac mad yeah yeah they, <laughs> they were first wait a minute why is oldsmobile first we're the, we're the top of they're that. lesser chevrolet oldsmobile buick pontiac right, cadillac right you know, they so were a two <laughs> two levels down from cadillac yet they they jumped out yeah. ahead and they really set the pace for the 50s and arguably for the horsepower wars that really started in the late 50s and all through the 60s. Yeah, and now granted, the Rocket 303 sounds like a small... It only had 164 horsepower. Okay. But it has a lot of torque and it right. has a lot of get up and go. Right, right. But back then, that was that was a, a great package. Oh, yeah. Now, I mean, you got... 500 oh, right, 454s right. you got all these other engines that are exactly huge, but, but on a back car, in the day that was the package to have exactly and uh well it's the torque that i think most people confuse yeah. with horsepower anyway yeah. because uh if you're at a stoplight and you stop it it's the torque it, that moves it, you it, down the it, road at, gonna, at so many seconds it'll it'll jump this one so, so and yep. then at the top end is going to be your horsepower and it where it peaks and at what rpm but exactly uh, to have that low end torque is is phenomenal and yeah. gosh this car is absolutely beautiful beautiful i just Thank like you. i said i can't i i can't find the ugly angle on the car anywhere and uh it's just it's it's a cool car yeah no so it's, this it's one been, this one fun. no doubt will stay in your collection for a while oh yes yes yeah <laughs> I, I i worked hard to find it and uh, i i had a 36 oldsmobile street rod and a 77 442 two oldsmobiles i got you know i only have room for one car in the garage uh beyond the three I already have, and I got rid of those two to get this, so I'm, wow. I'm happy I did. And uh, Now, do you know original hub hubcaps? Yeah, and, those are original. And that even was, all the bright work and stains, yeah. so if somebody had really taken care of this car. Yeah, yeah, and it was restored, um, it was owned, uh, it was from Ohio, stayed in Ohio most of its life, owned by an older gentleman there, and then sold it uh, to a guy that used to take it to Oldsmobile shows around the, the region, the okay. East Coast and so forth, Okay. and he had it restored in 1985, and then he passed away uh, years later, and it, it was in storage for like probably 15 years, oh. 20 years. Oh, wow. And then the company I bought it from got it out, refurbished it. Okay. Uh, but he, before he died, he had it restored in like 1985. Okay. Uh, but it was in storage, I think, for about 10 years, and then it, it was refurbished and mechanically put, able to put on the road. So as far as you know, it's always been the original color as well, yeah. red. Yeah, that, that's yeah, cool. Because yeah. you'll and, go through history yeah. and sometimes you'll see cars have completely changed in colors was, and everything else. It was all cherry, and I've got some documentation from some provenance on it uh, okay. that, that says that. It was always oh, cherry and red. Well, and you've it got the plates. So I don't know plate. if they still say the colors on there and everything. Yeah, so, okay. yeah. and then so it was repainted the correct red and uh, yeah. And, all the moldings never been in an accident as far as i know right um so yeah absolutely beautiful thank you but this is uh steve and this is a beautiful 1955 oldsmobile 88 50 1950 you're right okay 1950 <laughs> oldsmobile 88 is where i wanted to double the numbers uh <laughs> holiday coupe and it is phenomenal Thank you so much, Rob, sir. Thank for you sharing. again. Appreciate it. Wow, I, folks, I've been chasing Steve and, and hounding him <laughs> for a couple of months now to film this car because if you if you're watching this video, you, you see why. It's it's it, it's a no-brainer. It's a beautiful car. So thank you so much thank for you sharing again. it with okay, us. Okay, yes, thanks sir. for coming out. Thank you. Thank you.